Hi friends, welcome to Code Jama and today let's take a look at how to install Jupyter Notebook in Python. Okay, so Jupyter is an amazing tool for creating Python programs. Alright, so this is Jupyter's website and you can go through the documentations. Here is what all you can do with Jupyter, but we are just going to see how to install Jupyter Notebook in your system. The process is really easy. Click on install button and you just need to enter this command. In my experience, you just need to install Jupyter only and it will install Jupyter Notebook for you. So let's just start doing that. Close this and I'm going to create a new folder on my desktop. So let's name it. All right. So let's name it Jupyter dash example. All right, now I'm going to CD into my desktop and then Jupyter example folder. We are going to create a virtual environment in it so that our Jupyter files are separate and within the confined space of Jupyter example folder only. If you want to globally download Jupyter, you don't need to do this step. You can just type pip install and Jupyter to install it globally without any virtual environment. But I like to keep each library separate. It's really easy and really manageable. So let's create a virtual environment with command virtual env and dash venv. It's going to take a while and it's done. So now we are going to activate that environment. So venv slash scripts and activate. I'm using tab to complete the words. Press enter and as you can see this little venv will tell you that virtual environment is currently activate. So we can now do pip install and then type Jupyter. You don't need to type Jupyter lab or notebook per se. Just type Jupyter. It will look for all the dependencies and it will install them one by one. Now Avast is currently scanning the pip.exe file so that nothing malicious gets downloaded. So I'm already running Jupyter in my other project. So it is just collecting that package and copying it over here. In your case, it will download the files one by one and then copy it over to here. So I'm just going to skip ahead. Okay, so as you can see that all packages have finished installing. And now you need to type only Jupyter and then Notebook to start Jupyter server. It will automatically launch your default web browser pointing towards the Jupyter server. There we go. If for some reason you close this file, let's say it's currently, let it redirect it. So it is currently in our folder. Which one? This Jupyter example. Even if it doesn't say that, let's just create a file to show you. I'm going to create a simple text file. And let's see, it's already here. It was created me a second ago. Okay, so let's delete this file now because we don't need it now. So if for some reason you close this browser, no need to panic or no need to worry. You need to just copy this particular address and open any browser of your choice, Firefox, Chrome, whatever you like. Paste that and press enter and it will redirect you to that current folder. See? Now, let's create a simple example so that we can know that our setup is working correctly. So I have all of these set up in my system. Now I'm going to select the Python 3.8.1. It's the latest one and it will create a Jupyter Notebook file. Click on Untitled and rename your notebook to something that makes sense to your project. So I'm going to name it Jupyter Example and rename. So just for simplicity, I'm just going to import the math module and then I'm going to print the value of pi from math. So math.pi. And that's it. That's all we are going to do for now. So as you know, the value of pi is 3.14 and up to all of these digits. So our installation of Jupyter is successful. And now you can create many more notebooks as you want. And if you had downloaded Jupyter globally, then it would have gone to your C drive and then users, then your username and then in documents. So it will showcase all of these files. In my case, it is just showing me the contents of this Jupyter example folder. 
So depending on your needs, you might want to install it globally or just in a virtual environment. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video and in coming days, I'm going to record a Flask web app session and I hope you'll be ready for that. All right, I'll see you in that. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.